field sent on their way. Five runners all came out smoothly. 31st Street and now Key Decision. Key Decision going to take the advantage on the outside. Obviously now going through at the rail and obviously kicking on to lead them. Racing Aptitude is right there. Meanwhile, Bruce's Dream is content to be the trailer early five off them. Into the turn they go. These other four are tightly grouped out here. Obviously now has the lead just over a length. In the second spot comes Key Decision. Along the rail is Racing Aptitude. 31st Street is fourth. Only three lengths off the leaders. Not any hurry out there. And Bruce's Dream is tugging hard at the back now, starting to make some headway. They move on to the back stretch and obviously an easy lead just over a length. In the second spot is Key Decision. At the rail comes Racing Aptitude, being followed by 31st Street, who's three and a half lengths off these leaders. And Bruce's Dream is still the trailer, got seven to make up. They have a half mile to go. It's still obviously there by a length. On the far side is Key Decision. Down at the rail, Racing Aptitude. 31st Street, three lengths off the leaders and Bruce's Dream is still last. 5 sixteenths to go and obviously kicking on for home on the far side key decision at the rail we have racing aptitude 31st street and bruce's dream is still six off the leaders top of the lane and obviously opens up on them obviously sprints away obviously a one horse race at this stage opens up to lead by five lengths and it is all obviously out here moving like a winner Obviously gives Joe Telemo four on the afternoon. Obviously in an absolute romp. Racing aptitude second, then 31st Street, Bruce's dream and key decision. Now we're entering the Woodford Reserve Winner's Circle, number two, obviously. He's a four-year-old Bay Gelding by Chouassar out of Liala. He's owned by Fanti Colo and Scardino. The winning trainer is Mike Mitchell, whose assistant is Phil D'Amato. The winning jockey, Joe Talamo, gives jockey Joe Talamo four winners on the afternoon. Obviously was bred in Ireland.